presentation of the NBA. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the destination for the Bulls. A top point wing tandem, the high wire act Zach Levine and a mid-range star DeMar DeRozan. Getting set as they settle in to resume this great Midwestern rivalry. It's the Bucks and Bulls at Pfizer Forum. Bulls, Bucks, coming right up. Hello, everyone. Proud to bring you Wednesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much. Now, improving NBA officiating has gone high tech. Today, the NBA uses the proprietary game review system, which is broken down from double-digit camera angles. Analysts spend a day or two dissecting each game. And Kevin, that data is used for evaluating, training, and communication with the teams. Isn't that something? I mean, every day there's something new. Fascinating, fascinating stuff, DA. Thank you. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Ball and Levine are the guard set. DeRozan and Williams are the forwards. And it's Vucevic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Bucks, the four and five, Giannis and Portis. Holiday and Allen have guard duties. And it's Middleton in at the three side. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. Now here's Allen. And Middleton kicks to Holiday. Passes it to Giannis. Shot clock at five. Portis trying to free himself. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. Holiday against Ball. The dish to Levine. Rebound, Milwaukee. This is their first chance to take a look at the Bulls this season. Yeah, some history here, though. Of course, they won that first-round series in last year's playoffs and ended up sending them packing. Added incentive in a game like this. I mean, they've got to be ready to rise up to that challenge. Now here's Allen. Zach Levine unable to get his last shot to go. Nice shot by Portis. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Here's Chicago. It's a three-point game. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. I'll tell you, they played hard, they drew fouls, but they could not convert at the line. And that can drive guys absolutely crazy. I mean, they know they're better free throw shooters than that, but just did not get it done from the line. Six on the shot clock. To the middle. There's Levine, and it's in there. And bringing the fight there. Levine, fearless, creating contact for the potential plus one. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine? It's the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. efficient as well and good shooting numbers no doubt last year he cut back on the turnovers and boy he's still young there's still tons of upside to be had and now another look at that great drive and finish brought to you by mobile one and putting that pressure on the rim that's what it's all about threatening with that attack ball feeling it out a bit Mar DeRozan on the wing. Vucevic trying to get open. And DeRozan with the basket on the assist by Ball. Good vision that time by Ball. You leave somebody open around him and he's going to get the ball to him. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. 
Allen outside. Pass to Middleton. At the elbow, it's Antetokounmpo. Back to Middleton. Outside, Portis. Shoots over Vucevic. Portis can't get it to go. The Bulls have gone two for four from the field so far today. And Levine, here we go. And Levine throws it down. Hey, when you can beat people off the dribble, you've got something going for yourself. I mean, Levine showing that great burst. The Bucs, they won their last contest that game against Portland. Pass to Portis. Shoots over Vucevic. Here's Antetokounmpo. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Antetokounmpo's got his second basket of the night. And, and getting after it on the offensive glass and adding to that early total with the putback. How about early attack mode? I love the approach he's coming to this game with. Really strong. Now, here's Ball. Coming in off a 10-point performance last game out. Levine passes the ball. Misses the three. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Baseline jumper. There's Portis. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Now here's DeRozan. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. Now here's Middleton following the miss by DeRozan. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And the picture of consistency, Chris Middleton is like a metronome. Gives you 20 points over five rebounds and assists every year. The Bucs shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And guys, they've taken a huge step forward at the free throw line this season. Especially when you compare it to last season. They're a completely different team in that area. And that one falls for Middleton. And one reason for Middleton's consistency, he plays at his own pace. And that's a great point, Kevin. And with his size and shooting touch, he doesn't need to blow by his man to score. All about getting to his spots. Middleton hits them both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Ball against Holland. And the pass to Vucevic. Williams trying to break free. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. Man, that's just an example and display of strength from Vucevic. I mean, just overpowering whoever's in his path. What you love about Vucevic, the consistency. Solid shooting percentages, and he's averaged double-digit rebounds for the last five years. Find the length. Find the length. Free throw drops for Vucevic. You know, Greg, adding to that for Vucevic, the last two seasons, he's been excellent in the playoffs. Great point, Kevin. His numbers were up over what he did in the regular season. He hits clutch shots, gives them a physical presence, and he is just a rock in the middle. For Chicago, they've gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. Levine, good work there as it goes. Levine's got seven. Levine, such an outstanding score. Athletic, strong, Great confidence in taking it to the rack. No stranger to tough finishes. Outside Holiday. Pass to Middleton. The Bucks working the ball around. Portis kicks to Allen. The three. Up again. And onto Takumbo on the follow. Six points for him. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Side ball. Pass to DeRozan. He dishes it to Vucevic. Shot clock at six. Great D that time from Portis. And Zoyanis will bring it up for the Bucks. 
fresh from a win against Portland. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. And, you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for them. Felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. So timeout called here, the first for Chicago. And with the season started up, these teams, Clark, certainly looking to hit the ground running this year. Kevin, first impressions are important. A strong performance now in the early going can really alleviate some of the stress and bumps down the line and help your team build some positive momentum. Bulls trail by three. Outside ball. On the wing, Williams. Over Giannis. And the rejection by Giannis. The Rosen's shot is off. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Love the read there from Antetokounmpo. I mean, his basketball IQ is really impressive when it comes to Ali Upatel. And Levine with the slam. Now that was a sweet move. I mean, lightning handles, yet completely under control and within himself. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Antetokounmpo finds Middleton. Pass to Allen. Outside Portis. Ball's knocked loose. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Here's Ball. And he banks in the layup. And in transition, Ball is a problem. A quick decision maker who knows exactly where to go to get fast break opportunities. The Bucks have gone 7 of 15 from the field at this point. The pass to Middleton. Back to Holiday. Unloads. And they'll get another chance. Middleton outside. Fade away. Offensive rebound. And onto Takumbo on the follow. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. On the wing, Levine. It's rebounded by Portis. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Middleton on the wing. DeRozan defending. Fades. He can't get that one to fall. And the Bulls going the other way now. And the rejection by Andrew you know, he's almost the perfect defensive player. He's got length and strength, and he's athletic. And Giannis plays the game hard all the time, too, which is impressive. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Bucks. They're contesting shots and, and have also come up with some significant blocks, putting a little doubt into the minds of the opposing shooters. Hey, I know analytics shuns the mid-range game, but I tell you what, these guys have the shooters that can knock them down. And they're making it pay tonight. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Bulls trail by five. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt. And, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer. And if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. Out of bounds, Bulls ball. Chicago keeps possession. Milwaukee making a switch here. Lopez is checked in. Chicago with the ball. Five on the clock. Caruso with the ball. He's coming off a 10-point game against Boston. And, you know, that night his defense was remarkable as well. He was excellent at coming up with steals. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Back to Holiday. Launches it. It's good from long range. 
And the Bucks lead by six. And, and loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. And those put-back baskets contributing to their lead. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. And Drake, he can get up a few notches higher. Well, and that's exactly how the game is played in the paint inside, guys. I mean, if you can play over the top, I think you've got a big advantage. Portis can't get it to go. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. And denied at the rim, but they call the foul. Whistle blows, and we'll see him shoot two from the line. Not backing away from the physicality of the game. Drummond is never afraid of getting hit when he's trying to score. This is his first free throw of the game. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. I think it's been a Shoot disappointing two. year for him at the stripe, guys. I mean, he hasn't been as productive as he was last season from there. He throw good Drummond. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for the Bucks. And he can't hit the second. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. Now here's Allen coming off a solid outing against Portland. A shot missing. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's Dosumu, and it's Dosumu with the jam. Oh, you, you hear that sound? That's uh, the yep. flushing of the toilet oh. right there. <laughs> Greg, a fierce two-hander. Max Force, throw that. White against Holiday. And there's the foul. Here we go on Alex Caruso. That's his first foul. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you've got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. Allen surveying the D. Pocket six. Lopez gets to Allen. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Greg, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking them. Here's Drummond back to Caruso. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Allen for three. Again, Allen missing. Yeah, I tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. Dosunmu shot is off. Milwaukee's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Outside Holiday. Here's Lopez. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Taking it strong. Nice finish by the big fella. Way to get after it, Lopez. Now, here's Dosumu. He's defended by Connaughton. Caruso finds White. Here's Dosumu. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Matthews, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Hill comes in for Drew Holiday. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter. And here is Hill, currently averaging almost six points a game. Here's Abaka. It's stolen by Green. Over in the corner, Caruso. He nails it, and we're tied up. Caruso's got his second bucket tonight. And a solid playmaker. White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. 
The Bucks shooting at around 42% since the opening tip. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. On the wing, Hill. White covering. Hill passes to Lopez. Good. The assist goes to Hill. And the Bucks lead by two. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. Hill is really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side and not hesitating at all in doing it. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Bucks lead by two. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Boy, grinding it out on the glass. They've really been working for those points. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. And it's Ball in at the one spot. Here's DeRozan. Vucevic trying to get open. And it's DeRozan missing. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That's foul number two for him. Milwaukee in the lead. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers. But DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade. Five-star high school prospect. And in a strange way, he's still an underrated superstar. They've been doing a lot of things right in this game. But something they have to improve on is their ball security. And you see players trying to get the officials to blow the whistle. Were players in your day great falling down as much as they seem to be doing now? Oh, it's way more common now. And, and let's face it, it's a copycat league. All the whistles slow the game down. I, I just love to see them let a little bit more go. Shoot two. That's good from DeMar DeRozan. Boy, the elevated playmaking from DeRozan has been a revelation of late. An all-around threat who still feels underappreciated by many, and I think that drives him quite a bit. DeMar DeRozan hits them both. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. Middleton fine touches a Kumbo. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Lopez draws contact on the shot and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And they're forcing the ball inside and it's working like a charm. Greg, and back to the Bucks. the question is how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now. And that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again. Just need to push all the right buttons. And that one misses. Nice looking set shot for Lopez. He can stretch the floor just about to the three-point line. And the basket by DeRozan. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Onto Takumbo, passes to Matthews. DeRozan against Middleton. Lopez, left side. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. Set him up well there. Brooke Lopez showing his vision and willingness as a passer. Ball, the pass to Vucevic. Knocks it loose. Lopez with the steal. To the inside. Here's Giannis. Nice yet again. He lays it in. Andre the Kumbo's got 12. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Here's Ball. And the rejection by Andre the Kumbo. Lopez with the steal. 
And here's Matthews on the arc. Chicago grabs the miss. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And, you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Passes it to Hill. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Hill's got his first points of the game. And Hill is cash money from the mid-range area. You can't let him feel at ease pulling up from there. Got to make him uncomfortable. Timeout called the Bulls. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for Brooke Lopez. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. you got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes we're going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. It's back to Hill. Andre Kumbo trying to break loose, and it's Hill. That time the assist by Middleton. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Ball kicks to Levine. Vucevic trying to get open. And again, Chicago. No good. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. And that's why they're ahead. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Chicago. They trail by six. Bucket is good. Levine is 6'5", but he plays much bigger than that with that outstanding, unreal leaping ability. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this. One. Pass to Matthews. And there it is for him. Matthews has got the lead back up to six now for the Bucks. Matthews strong and confident. Able to finish through tough defense there. Outside DeRozan. Back to Levine. Kicks it to Vucevic. Shoots over Matthews. There's Levine. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Levine's got 13. Boy, I got a strong feeling that Levine's teammates are loving this. Zach has been on an offensive tear tonight. Hill dishes to Hatsutakumbo. Pass to Holiday. Shoots over DeRozan. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Yeah, and that field goal percentage zooming upwards is now above 50%, which is pretty strong. Just five on the clock. DeRozan finds Levine. Shoots over Matthews. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Levine. Boy, DeRozan showing you good recognition there. Saw the gap in the defense and fired the pass to the wide open man. Doesn't get much better than that. Outside Matthews. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Under Nakumbo against Vucevic. Baseline try. Rebound by Williams. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. And so the ball's out of bounds. Middleton touched it last. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And Chicago also making a switch. White's checked in. Stolen by Holiday. Matthews against White. Tipped away. Stolen by Ball. Got a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. 
Drummond checked in for the Bulls. Lobs it up for Levine. Got a piece of it. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. And over the years, Levine has put on the muscle, which helps him on those challenging finishes at the rim. Hill passes to Portis. Now Holiday. Back to Portis. Now the pass to Hill. Six to shoot. This is it to Portis. From deep three-point range, it's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got his fourth rebound in this one. To Rosen. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. The Rosen is deceptive in his height and quickness, so I think it makes him hard to guard, especially from this area. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? We've seen some obvious improvement in his free throw shooting Shoot since two. last year. That's good from DeMar DeRozan. You know, when you think about the all-time greats in Milwaukee Bucks history... I mean, two names come right to mind at the top of the list. Lou Alcindor, also known now as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Milwaukee. Pat Connaughton comes in for Hill. That one drops. He ties it up. Clark, both Kareem and Giannis Antetokounmpo are greats in their own unique respective right, aren't they? Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, forces of nature, both of those guys. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the iconic and unmatched skyhook, which was a lethal weapon. And then Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, you think about his athleticism, his speed, his ball handling skills at seven feet tall is something we've not quite seen. Both of those guys had similar impact in their uniqueness and their championship caliber mindsets. And he makes the first. Jason Allen's checked in for Wesley Matthews. And a change for the Bulls. Green is checked in for DeMar DeRozan. And Portis drains both of them. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. And White kicks to Caruso. Back to White. Pass to Caruso. Over Allen. And he can't bank that one in. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. White against Allen. Rebound Andre Drummond. Drummond's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Caruso. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout.
Here's Holiday. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Portland. Yeah, but he was also a force on the defensive side. Two block shots and also altered a ton of shots. Levine's shot is off. The Bucs have gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the second quarter. Just under 50% shooting. Connaughton against Levine. Just his first attempt. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. This is his first chance at the line tonight. good from Connaughton. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Chicago trailing. Levine wide open. Here's Green. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Back to Holiday. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. And now in his 14th NBA season... Just one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. The first one falls. You know, Greg, you can make the case... Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. And, you know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked. Just one all-star game. But Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple all-star seasons. And the Bucks making a change here. Lopez is checked in. Second free throw, no good. And you can see that even though he ties the game up, disappointed he couldn't give him the lead. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The athleticism and blinding speed White possesses is impressive. This guy plays with a lot of moxie. For Chicago, they have been coming through at the charity store. They've made seven of their eight attempts. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And they've made progress in that department from last season going into this one, guys. I mean, the numbers have improved. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Ozumu, he's checked in for Zach Levine. throws good for white the Bucks trail holiday dishes to Allen Ibaka outside good on the three-point shot and, and not entering the league as a, a natural catch-and-shoot guy Ibaka certainly has developed this part of his game Oh, here's Dosumu. He's defended by Connaughton. Connects from three-point range. Caruso's got the lead up to two now for the Bulls. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for the Bucks. Following this one, they get to host the Cavaliers. And that'll be the third of the four straight at home. 
Caruso against Allen. Pass to Ibaka. Over Green. And Serge Ibaka. The bucket on the assist by Allen. Allen's got his fourth assist in this one. White looking around. Outside, Green to the right side. Here's Caruso, and it's plucked by Ibaka. And, well, he's been the NBA's leader in blocks multiple times. Ibaka just has that rare instinct for him. Well, Chicago has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. They get it back. Goes back up. And Green with the lay-in. And the Bulls lead by two. And, Kevin, they dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second-chance opportunities. Well, the hustle and the effort, the uh, persistence, all of that paying off in a big way. And that's something that makes a coach smile. Shot clock at six. Here's Connaughton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. That's good from Connaughton. Both free throws good from Connaughton. Bull shooting it up around 45% from the field in the second quarter. White goes in. Drummond trying to get himself free. Well, we've always talked about the great defender that Holiday is. Well, he showed you right there with the rejection. To the paint. Now on against Caruso. Allen outside. The pass to Lopez. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. That puts them in the lead. Ibaka's got seven now in this quarter. And you got to worry about Ibaka everywhere, inside, beyond the arc, and the mid-range. He'll find that spot to beat. Here's White, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Outside Holiday. Allen for the three. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Now it's a five-point Bucks lead, and that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Bucks ahead. They're up by five. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Booch. They had it going the first two quarters. How do you turn that around defensively? Uh, just got to get one-on-one -on -one stops. Uh, do a better job helping each other. Uh, just, you know, getting uh, whatever they want on that end. And we have to do a better job. And, uh, yeah, it's just simple, you know, one-on-one -on -one stops. When we help, make sure the guy that helps, he gets help. And just keep rotating. Uh, we haven't done a good job of that. We're usually very good with that. So just got to you know, focus, you know, uh, and come back and think I'm half ready. And we can make it a game if we, uh, you know, uh, play better defensively. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 12 points, two assists, and four blocks. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? They came in prepared. The offense is firing on all cylinders. You love the patience, the flow. Very efficient. Valuing possessions is fueling their success right now. This is not a team we want to bet against. At least not today. And Shaq, what'd you think about Chicago? They were strong in transition. Seemed like the guys fed off the higher tempo. Certainly, they definitely got the looks they want to play an outstanding game. They can keep it up in the second half. They may wear the other side out. 
And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Bulls trail by five. A talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at forward. Holiday and Allen have guard duties. And it's Ibaka in at the center position. They're the group for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Williams passes to Levine. Drummond trying to get himself free. Great positioning on the putback. Hey, if you don't box out Drummond, this happens. He's an exceptional offensive rebounder who can hurt you big time with the putbacks. Middleton the pass to Holiday. Kicks it out to Allen. Passes to Middleton. Pass to Anadokounmpo over Williams. Here's Middleton and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Middleton's got his second basket of the night. Well, I tell you what, Middleton getting his hands dirty inside on the glass. You know he can shoot it from outside, but inside points are bonus. Bucks leading by five. Here's Allen. Here's Giannis. And the layup is good. Giannis has got 14 points for the game. You can tell that Giannis takes pride in his activity level, the way he plays, his intensity level. And you see the result of that activity on second-chance buckets like this. Ball kicks to Drummond. And at the top of the key, Williams. Here's Ball. Williams trying to break free. Ball no good. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Holiday looking for an opening. Out to Ibaka. Shoots it. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And for a big guy who came into the league fairly raw, Ibaka's jump shot now looks second nature. Here's Ball. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. That one is on Holiday. Yeah, the defender all over him. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. You know, Greg, we talked a lot about Ball's offense, but his defense is just as important to this team. Oh, Kevin, very disruptive. He has terrific positional size, and he can anticipate where the offense is going. And the first one at the line is good. And at 6'6", ball, very similar to Jason Kidd in terms of the vision that he plays the game with. His IQ is off the charts. Bobby Portis has checked in for the Bucks, And the Bulls making a change here as well. Vucevic checked in for Andre Drummond. Ball hits them both. Bucks leading by seven. There's the lob and the combo. Williams with the block. Now here's Ball. Six points for him. Holiday with the block. Anyway, this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. And Giannis gets it to go. Continuing to show activity on the offensive glass. Second chance buckets have been huge. Yeah, they certainly have been. You'd like to knock down that first one. But if you don't, then the second shot is the next best thing. For Milwaukee, they've gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And Antetokounmpo is, is just fearless. I mean, hit him, knock him around. Really doesn't phase him. Doesn't matter. I mean, this guy is determined to get the job done. And he does. And he's got his first chance at the line here. An 85% mark from the line. There aren't too many players in the league who are going to sport a much better percentage. 
And, you know, with those numbers, he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him. I mean, he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line. That's good from out of the Kumbo. And Giannis's journey, GA, so incredibly compelling. A full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie? Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. Chicago calls timeout. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguarded. And Chicago has possession. A 12-point game. Ball, the pass to Vucevic. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got assist number five here tonight. And it's on to Takumbo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Allen finds Giannis. Pass to Holiday for three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. You know, he's often the setup guy. But Holiday gives you just as much, maybe even more, as a terrific finisher. Ball, the pass to Levine. And the call will go against Grayson Allen. That'll be his second foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Wesley Matthews checked in for Allen. And it's DeRozan missing. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough. But that's how you win games. Holiday, no one around him. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Here's Ball, down low. Here's Vucevic, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Vucevic has got four points this quarter. Comfortable operating near the basket. Vucevic has size plus touch. That's a nice recipe for scoring in multiple ways. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. Levine against Matthews. Hits it down to Middleton. Loads it up for Giannis. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Giannis is taking it up a notch here, and he's always one of the more consistent players in the league, night in and night out, and he's getting it done tonight. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. A shot by Middleton. Wide open. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists now in this one. Ball. The pass to DeRozan. Levine against Matthews. Outside. Ball. And there's the pass to DeRozan. Williams trying to break free. No good. Great D that time for Middleton. Middleton on the wing. And the powerful one-handed slam. I like the fact that Middleton can get the shot he wants because of his ball handling ability. Here's Levine. And then Levine with the champ. And you see why Levine's been a hard, tough out in the slam dunk contest. Has a natural ability to entertain the audience. And that bounce in athleticism certainly doesn't hurt either. And one more look at that fantastic Mobile One drive. And I just love his competitiveness. He, he's showing there. Team might be down, but a drive like that could spark them. And even stronger second half. Tremendous efficiency at the offensive end of the floor. Yeah, they're in a nice zone right now. And that basket looks, you know, it can handle two balls at once. It looks like now it could probably, for them, handle three or four balls at once as well as they're shooting Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Middleton outside. Matthews finds Giannis. Out of bounds. It'll be the Bulls ball. 
Find some changes here for the Bucks. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Bobby Portis. And it's Hill in for Matthews. The Bulls also changing it up. Osumu, he's checked in for Patrick Williams. Alex Crusoe comes in for Levine. And it's White in for Lonzo Ball. DeRozan against Middleton. Back to DeRozan. Vucevic trying to get open. And it's DeRozan missing. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And the Bucks making a change here. Lopez is checked in. Green, he's checked in for the Bulls. Out left of the wing. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Now here's Middleton. He's tightly guarded. Nails the 16-footer. Middleton's got nine points in the quarter. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. Here's Dosunmu. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Vucevic enjoys throwing his weight around now. At 260 LBs, he's really good at finding ways to get to the line. First free throw is good. Players Clark, as we know, are changing teams more than ever before. Some don't like it, and some do. But free agency is something historically that was fought for by the Players Club. And again, you've heard me say it before, Kevin, empowerment of the players I'm in favor of. And freedom of movement is part of that empowerment. And sure, it can cut both ways to where some fans and league executives may be a little bit um, frustrated by it. But I tell you what, it's um, good in my mind for the players. Middleton dishes to Lopez. On his high post. Hill inside. White covering. It's stolen by Green. Here's Caruso. Count it good. Caruso's got 12 in the game. Really nice job moving the ball around that time. Picking apart that defense. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. Hill kicks to Connaughton. White against Hill. Middleton for three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. White the pass to Vucevic. Rebounded by the Bucks. Giannis has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. Passes it to Connaughton. Hill with it. Right at the free throw line. Here's Giannis. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. Giannis powering his way on the jam there. Well done. It's White on the wing. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. To the wing right side. Pass to Dosunga. There's the triple. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. Seven points in the game. Boy, Vucevic, so solid in all fundamentals of the game and really an outstanding passer for a big guy. Bucks leading by 19 points. Hill passes to Connaughton. And here is Adi Dekumbo. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And White kicks to Caruso. Green against Giannis. Green dishes to White. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And what body control. Even when White gets bodied up, he, he sticks with his shot. 
Milwaukee has gotten all four of the three-point shots to go down since halftime. They're lighting it up here. Poke loose. Caruso looking for an opening. That one's not going to go. Great tee that time from Giannis. Connaughton passes to Hill. A minute 42 left in the third. Middleton outside. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Dosumu. Second chance effort. And he lays it up and in. Lopez has got eight points. Guys, they're just getting out work. I mean, plain and simple. It's got to be more of a collective effort to secure that backboard. Yeah, and when you take a look at the stat sheet, they've got to do something to cut down on these second chance points. Box out and get to the defensive board. Here's Caruso. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. There's a minute left to play in the third. Middleton outside. Puts it up from 12. It's hauled in by the Bulls. White with the double team. Here's Dosumu, and it's Dosumu with the jam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Connaughton, the bounce pass. Kucevic against Lopez. A solo fast break. Here's Dosumu. And it's Dosumu with the jam. And, and no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one hand hole punch. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. The Bucks have been shooting right around 75% of the line. 9 of 12 so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. That misses, so he splits the free throws. One second left. That shot, no good. And so it's Milwaukee in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. We come back right after this. Head coach Mike Budenholzer is mic'd up along the sideline. Let's check it out. Going again for this quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. Same effort, same mentality. Keep pushing, keep moving the ball, keep cutting. Now Mike likes how they're working the ball right now. And, and, you know, coach highlighted it's a brand new quarter. They need to play with the same fire. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Taking a look at the Bulls, DeRozan and Williams are the forwards. Ball and Levine are the guard set. And it's Vucevic in at the five. Shot clock at three. Kept alive. And to Dekumbo. Up and in from the low block. Andre Dekumbo's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Ball with it. Picked up by Portis. Ball no good. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. 
22 is their biggest lead. Pass to Portis. Bucks passing it around. It's Allen on the win. Vucevic defending. On to Takumbo against DeRozan. On to Takumbo can't get it to go. Bulls trail by 18. Here's Levine. And Levine with the slam. That's what Zach Levine is known for, getting positioning inside and throwing it down. For Milwaukee, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. The Bulls shooting the ball 42%. Ball against Holiday. Outside ball. Connaughton against DeRozan. Six on the shot clock. And Vucevic kicks to Levine. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Giannis has got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. There's the pass to Holiday. Now Portis. Here's Giannis. And no good that time. DeRozan scanning the floor. Passes it to Vucevic. And here's Levine. Defended by Allen. Again, Levine missing. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Connaughton passes to Giannis. Back to Connaughton. Holiday with the three. And the jam by Antetokounmpo. How about the flash by Antetokounmpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. Ball against Holiday. Here's Levine. No good there. Excellent D there from Allen. And Vucevic throws it down. All the reach you need to throw it down there. Vucevic making it look easy. Bucks leading by 18. Pass to Connaughton. Here's Portis. Allen outside. The tray. Here's onto Takumbo. Here's Portis. And at last they get one to fall. Portis has got four points in the quarter. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. DeRozan passes to Williams. And Vucevic throws it down. Oh, it's so smart and relentless on the offensive glass. Seems to me that Vucevic has that extra sense of tracking down missed shots. Seems to just have a nose for the ball. Pass to Portis. It's over Vucevic. Missile blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. All right. Well, look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Bucks. And guys, how about the unselfishness? And all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot. I love the fact they've done tremendous work on the offensive glass. A lot of second chance opportunities as they've kept that ball alive. And for a while there, Greg, it seemed like we were entering the super team era. But lately, homegrown talent. Players you draft and develop or sign and develop seems to be the way teams are going. Yeah, and it's not easy to maintain a culture when you're bringing in stars from outside. We've seen some cautionary examples here of late. Middleton outside. Outside Holiday. Portis finds Holiday. Vucevic with the block. Denied. Return to Cinder. That's something you expect from a seven footer like Vucevic. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. The drive by ball. 
The pass to Levine. Now here's Vucevic. Over Middleton. And it's Vucevic missing. In the corner, Middleton with it. Jacks up a three. And Vucevic pulls it down. Bulls trail by 21. Here's Levine. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. And that's now 25 points for Zach Levine. Milwaukee's gone ice cold from three-point land. 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Outside Holiday. Takes it down to Middleton. Five to shoot. And a wide open look for Portis. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Portis has got nine points in the quarter. Holiday against Ball. And for coaches' challenges, the refs review their own call. It's a little like grading your own test. Maybe, Greg, give that job to the review center. You, you definitely risk a confirmation bias, and, and everyone wants to be right. It, it does seem like some calls stand that probably could be reversed. Holiday gets the bucket. Some nasty handles from Holiday, leaving the defense shaking its head and all. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Looking to get it going. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one is on Holiday. And the first one drops. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Ball hits them both. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. Ball, the pass to Williams. Number three, Levine. Excellent D there from Allen. That's excellent defense right there on the perimeter. And Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up a foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Holiday finds Portis. Bucks passing it around. Holiday up top. Over ball. And ball showing you a little nasty there on defense. Showing you some of that sandpaper grit. Coming out of the half now, making a commitment and concentrated effort to get to the offensive board has proven fruitful. Levine looking around outside DeRozan. And the basket is good. You know, guys, I look at DeMar DeRozan, and I think he's one of the very best at making tough shots. I mean, the defense is draped all over him, and he still finds a way to get it up and down. Here's Giannis. When you look at NBA salary numbers, Clark, some rosters are only guys on the max or the minimum, one or the other. What happened? What happened to the middle salary? Yeah, it just kind of went away a little bit, Kevin. Well, when you have enough stars on your team, they take up the whole pie, and really they deserve it. But I think you got to have role players, too, who are willing to take a little less the crumbs, so to speak. But when you're talking seven figures, crumbs is probably a misnomer. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. So we'll see DeMar DeRozan go to the line here. That one is on Holiday. Bulls making a switch here. White's checked in. And that free throw good from DeRozan. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Bucks. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Middleton, the pass to Portis. It's Kumbo on the wing. 
dishes it to Holiday. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Middleton, and again, it's Milwaukee converted. Yeah, you know, when you shoot the ball as well as Middleton does, you want to be hungry and looking for your shots. I mean, shot hungry is a good thing when you've got the stroke that he has, mid-range and long distance. Vucevic with the bucket. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. And Holiday kicks to Allen. Passes it to Antetokounmpo. And in this era of player movement, Greg, we're seeing guys often pick teams on fit or style of play. When they look at that, what are they looking into? You want to have fun coming to work every day, Kevin. I mean, the money they're making, most guys are going to be set for life. But I think they recognize it's about the journey and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with. There's Levine. And the shot goes in. Levine's got eight points in the quarter. Doing all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. Holiday. Pass to on the Kumbo. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. Yeah, he was just a skosh late on the contest. That's going to be a goal 10 for sure. Chicago has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. White with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Levine. Check out the body control from DeRozan there, guys. I mean, clearly there's contact, but it's almost impossible to affect his shot. Outside Holiday. Pass to Middleton. Here's Portis. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And looking at that replay again, just a big time block right there. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Stolen by Middleton. 152 left in the fourth. Giannis against Vucevic. Out of the Kumbo. Kicks to Portis. They get it back. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. And right from the get-go, they stood out as the better team. Their hunger to dominate and play for each other was outstanding for Milwaukee. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. We know familiarity breeds contempt. I would expect things to become more heated as these teams face each other going forward. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Giannis. Boy, this game really had his name all over it. I mean, he relished being the guy to carry the load offensively. Five to shoot. Middleton the pass to Allen. 26 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Nice D from Levine. Here's DeRozan. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It goes on Chris Middleton. You know, I don't know how many guys have bitten on DeRozan's pump fake over the years, but I do know it's a bunch of them, and because that fake is so good, it's a weapon for him.
DeMar DeRozan hits them both. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Carter outside. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Giannis. Great individual performance. I guess you're going for another MVP, huh? Hey, you know, I try not to think about it that much. Uh, my mind says do my job, do whatever it takes to help my team win, and uh, all I get about is I've got to win. Love the humble brag, man. Congrats on the win. Thanks. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.